Thanks a lot, Joydell, and welcome to WIV4 Sports. I'm your action man here, Willa Gray. New Sports Sports took the streets today looking for the TCI public's opinion for the new quarter of this new year. Are the locals pleased with sports, satisfied, or do they see sports growing here in the TCI? Well, what I see happening now in terms of sports, um, there is a great interest in terms of the public, in terms of promoting sports, especially since the uh, Carifta theme. With the summer coming up and a lot of the kids are out of school, basically a lot of them don't have anything to do. I think um, one of the things that we can possibly look at uh, from a government perspective through the Ministry of Sports is the implementation of a summer program that would allow kids to engage in different discipline, that is volleyball, basketball, netball, uh, any other number of sports. And I think with the corporate community coming on board and helping to sponsor some of these events and over the summer period, it will allow kids not only to get involved and learn about these different disciplines, and at the end of the training sessions, it can culminate with the kids putting on a display of some of the um, new skills. I think there should be programs for more camps to help the students to get through in the summertime. And not, not only for the boys, you get to actually work with the girls too. I see in this case, in Texas case, they're only just working with the boys when it comes to basketball. That's actually girls basketball teams up here too. We got to get to work more times with the girls and with the boys. You can't just be one specific with, with just one specific species. You get, it's just, remember, in every sex is two. You can't just work with one, with one species. But I mean, when it comes to basketball, what basketball has, has this growing point. It's, but you still need more sponsors and to build more stuff. But the other thing is that you need, you need more track and field events. You can't just do one track and field event for per year. You need, you need to eventually grow up with more track and field events. And it's volleyball. You don't get much children and the Texas kickers out and play volleyball. I say being by this gym, I see more just fun to play volleyball. You get a more implied to the children or children to take care of the schools. You get a but volleyball competition between the schools. Soccer between the schools. You can't just stop it between just people who just playing for the fun. I believe to myself overall, um, I think that um, the government could do a little more um, for the children in Turks and Caicos Island. Also, I believe to myself sports is on the rise, but if the uh, sponsors and so on put out a little more, uh, they're going to reach somewhere. Straight up honest views from the locals here in the Turks and Caicos Islands, but the big hype right now around the world seems to be the NBA playoffs. This season is doubtful on which teams will be advancing to the finals, but Kobe Bryant, teammate of the Turks and Caicos Islands, Trevor Ariza, is now certain of one thing, and that's this league's MVP. Wednesday, May 7, Bryant will receive his season MVP title from the NBA's commissioner, David Stern, before they get into Game 2 against the Utah Jazz. But that's it here for tonight with sports. I'm your action man, Willow Gray.